Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my ghost of present predictions for the master, right? Because they did reveal the three lower pieces. So, you're predicting the master. And then, be heading on into it and going over my past predictions, my set pieces, my master. Now, the reason I decided to do this, guys, because Cradle did hint that we're going to have a crazy Christmas day. Potentially a crazy Saturday or Christmas Eve. He was really kind of confused in the days. He kind of said that Friday was going to be insane, but Christmas Day was going to be even better. That's the same day. So, I think, but if we're doing this logistically, right? He pretty much implied the day before Christmas is going to be crazy. So that would be Christmas Eve Thursday. But then he also told us that Legends of the Fifth are going to be great. So maybe he meant Saturday and Christmas. I, I really don't know what he meant by that. All I know is that, guys, I think Ghosts are going to be crazy. Legends and the 50. But let's start with this Good Morning Madden pack. And we're going to get into all our predictions. Let's see if we can pull out of this. See it. Test it out. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for. I've never really pulled anything good out of these. Give me an Elite. No? No? Okay, cool. We're going to start with our one present. So if you guys already know... For the present players, guys, we were we were already uh, revealed this morning. We have Xavier Rhodes, Eric Kendricks, and Cam Scram Newton. You guys didn't see that video already. I already posted on my channel. Go check it out. Now, before we get into the video, guys, with this crazy week of content, you know you're going to need coins. Head on over to Mutt Reserve and use code Poodle for 50, 30 sorry, 30% 30 off your order. Take advantage, guys. You're not going to get discounts like this for a while considering it is Christmas time, season of giving. So make sure you go out. And go enjoy. Pick up some coins so you can afford all these great players I'm about to name. And all the other crazy content we're going to be getting. You're going to need coins. But yeah, it's heading over, guys. So for my first prediction, we're going to start with the Master for the present. There's a guy that literally hasn't gotten a card all year. And I don't know why they waited this long. They could have given us like two cards, like a Superstar card, and then one now. But Patrick Mahomes has to get a card. It's pretty much been hinted that we always knew. We pretty much knew that we were getting one now. Now, they haven't revealed it yet. But, of course, this is what we're working with, right? So let's go over what we could expect from this card. So this card's an 88. So that would mean that a Ghost of Present, I would say would be a 95 Master. 95. It's a plus 7 increase. Now don't forget, he does get powered up. So I'll be 96 overall Patrick Mahomes. I suspect 96 overall Patrick Mahomes has an 80 speed. All right? Sound fair? Plus 7 increase on the speed. 80 speed I think is fair. Throw power, 95. Uh... Throw short, 93. Throw medium, 93. Actually, no, throw short might be a 94. 93, throw medium. Throw deep may only be a 92. Throw to pressure will be like a 93. Throw in the row will be like a 94. Play action will be like a line at 90. And then everything else as well. Now, here's the thing. If he gets all those stats, guys, power from Kemba, he will have 99 throw short. He will have... I recommend you put play fake... I recommend you put like play fake on him, guys. He'll have 99 throw power. 99 throw short. And then high enough medium and deep to get all his thresholds and any speed. He'll be one of the best, most well-rounded quarterbacks in the game now. Again, yes, there's guys like Cole Pepper and stuff who already have, like, some of that now, guys, it could be even better. Remember, 96 overall? I could be wrong. His his speed could even be, like, an 83. I, I don't know. It could be slightly better. Anything behind the card, that's crazy. Uh, let's see. His break sack will be a bit higher, probably go closer to a 90. He'll, he'll do everything. He'll be able to scramble when needed to. He'll be able to throw the ball. He'll be able to under pressure. He'll be able to rocket the ball wherever he wants. And, of course, it's Patrick Mahomes. It'll be fun, right? So I'm super excited. If we do get a Patrick Mahomes card, that would be pretty awesome. Now, remember, the next cards I'm going to show you guys don't have cards yet in this game. So I have to go over to Mudhead to show you guys what their past cards at this similar juncture have looked like. So heading over to that. Yeah, so for one of my first predictions for one of these set pieces, Eric Dickerson. Another guy that we haven't gotten. Now, I fear that they may not have the rights to him. There is a possibility for that, but... If they do have the rights to him, now would be the time to drop him. Ghost of, uh, Ghost of Past, Ghost of Madden Past would be super fun. We're gonna. If they said insane, guys, Eric Dickerson reeks of insane. Now this was the last time he got a card around Christmas. So, if I remember correctly, guys, I was going like Black Friday shopping or maybe Christmas shopping right around the time, and I was out, and they they hinted at this card. So I definitely know it was in the month of Christmas. I'm 94 overall now. The thing is, he would probably be. A 95, right? If they, they follow typical formats, right? Calvin Ridley's 94. The Ghost of Pass would be... The Ghost of Pass would be uh, 96, right? Because if Calvin Ridley's 94, the Ghost of Pass would be 95. And that would be 96. Which means all the set pieces for future should be 95. So let's, not, let's notch up Eric Dickerson one piece here. So Eric Dickerson, 94 overall. 
Now let's go with 95. Now I think that with 95 his speed doesn't go up anymore. I think I think he ends up getting a 93 speed, but then I think his power brings him to a 94. Now is that too crazy to expect? I'm not entirely sure just yet. But potentially, guys, we're going to see 93 to 94 speed Eric Dickerson, which would make him the best running back in the game by a large margin, a very large margin. He would have that. He would have the acceleration, the agility, the strength, the jumping. His trucking would be post-90. His elusiveness would probably be close to 90. His ball carry vision would be above 90. Stiff arm. Juke would be above 90, which is all that matters. His carrying and his break tackle. And the difference between him is obviously change of direction is important now, which this wasn't a stat when this card was out, so you can't really, like, I can't really expect what they're going to give him. I'd imagine it would probably be like high 80s, uh, low 90s. So this card overall will probably be great. It would be the best running back in the game considering Barry Sanders at a 91 speed is still contending for the best one. The issue is guys like Derrick Henry got the speed at 93, but he doesn't have the agility or the change of direction that, uh, that Eric Dickerson would have, which would make him way, better, way, way, way better. Now, going into the next one, we have Willie Brown, another card that got uh, NFL 100 card last year. We haven't seen this year. It should really probably be the speed, but again, if he's a 95 and he can get powered up to 95, I think his speed probably ends up being a 93 overall. His man coverage, like you see here, man zone press is a great coverage corner. He probably ends up having me across the board at like 93s, 94s powered up. So I'd probably give him a plus one on just about all of these here. Now, remember, he gets powered up. Technically, he gets powered up to a 95, 96. Again, I don't know the exact stats, but we can imagine the man will be 95. These will be 94s. Powered up and chemmed up, you could probably end up getting them to some of them probably, probably man 99 plus speed being a 93 his catching being an 80 his hip power and his hip power is usually pretty high as well he's super physical he's six foot one 195 willie brown would be one of the best cornerbacks in the game the only issue would be the speed he has to get the 93 speed if he doesn't get the 93 speed then it's gonna hurt him a little bit now if it's 93 before then you get the 94 powered up it'll probably be 92 but again if he gets 95 uh stat base and you could power him up which i'm not entirely sure just yet how they're gonna handle it like i said but if they give him 95 base you can power him up to 96, then he's going to be pretty crazy because that will probably mean he ends up getting like a 94 speed. 94 speed plus 99 man plus potentially 99 zone and potentially 99 press powered up and chemmed up. I'm not entirely sure just yet on if they'll do that, but if they do, that's definitely going to be great. Next, we have Steve Young. Now, I'm going with Super Bowl Steve Young, which makes kind of sense because if he gets a 95, he can be powered up to 96. Now, we haven't got Steve Young either. I mean, these are a lot of legends that are like Eric Dickerson, Willie Brown, Steve Young. These are kind of staples, especially Young. We've had Steve Young in like every game since Madden 13. We haven't seen him yet. Last year he had a, I believe last year he had a, a Super Bowl card and maybe a base legend. I think he had a base legend one of the first weeks, like the first week of the game, and a Super Bowl card. So Steve Young would be crazy good too with the way this game plays because that's what Steve Young is. Every year we usually like either pure, we never, people never like Steve Young for one reason. People either use um, pure scrambling quarterbacks with 90 speed plus or slow quarterbacks that are straight pocket passers. Guys like Steve Young who are in the middle who we usually have good accuracy but not the fastest but get the good abilities are never used now this Madden specifically is the year of quarterbacks who have just enough speed to run and can pass super accurately so this is kind of like a Steve Young meta per se but the thing with this year is, is that Steve Young is actually fast like we, we usually compare Young to like uh, Vic right so Vic has a 93 speed and Young always has like an 87 or like an 86 right here and that's when people are like no they'll pass on that but this year that'll be faster than most quarterbacks that people are using and he's super accurate so we can pretty much expect these stats to be the Steve Young stats. So 86 speed, 88 excel, 87 agility. We're one of the best running quarterbacks that can also throw. 93 throw power, 95 short, 95 medium, 92 deep, 95 throw on the run, 92 play action, 95 throw under pressure. He would be arguably the most accurate quarterback in the game and also be able to run with a good juke, good ball carry vision. His throw power gets to 98. His short, you want to go gum, play fake with him because he would get a short medium to 99. So he'd be one of the most, he'd probably be the most accurate quarterback. And then his deep would be around 92. Throwing the roll would be crazy good, which means you really don't need like dashing dead or anything like that. Throwing under pressure would be crazy good. And the speed, like I said, this is already a powered up version of him, so I can't really upgrade anything here as well. But the cams will get him up. And if you put Sprinter on him, get him to an 88 speed, he'll pretty much feel like Baby Vic that can also throw like, you know, like Peyton Manning, which is really good. And he's a lefty. I mean, I don't know how much that affects it, but some people don't like him. Some people do. It's weird because I personally, I, I used to play a lot last year to the left of the field which means that I need probably lefty. But now I play a lot to the right of the field, which means for scrambling. It's, it's like the side you roll out to. I roll out only to the right, typically. So it would be nice to have a righty. But again, I have some plays I could flip the other way and run them left. So, I mean, it's, it's always it's always feasible. You could always make it work. And for the master guys, Randy Moss. Now, Randy Moss, again, before, before I say anything, Randy Moss could be the 50 on Thursday. Randy Moss could be Legends on Saturday. Randy Moss could be the Ghost of Madden Future. Uh, master either way guys i'm predicting a randy moss here and if it's not remember we're getting a version of him i just don't know from what pro we're getting him on 
most likely the 50 over the future though over legends that's more of like a dry promo in terms of they don't they haven't been dropping like the banger guys there as much as they are with the 50 right now brandy moss would be a 96 overall so powered up gonna add plus once everything so he's got 94 speed 93 excel and two agility 95 jumping you're catching 90 catch and traffic 95 spec 89 short 88 medium and 95 deeper running 90 release so based on this guy's powered up and chemed up he will get to a 95 speed which would make him crazy good now again they may even give him a plus one speed to make him the fastest receiver in the game but if not 95 speed will do he's six foot four 210 well 94 excel 93 agility 96 jumping 96 jumping with that height is pretty crazy 93 catching 194 now oh it really matters here is going to be the threshold so it's currently he would hit the short if he's powered up from this point and then you want to put play fake on him now here's the thing if he gets 89 medium base you could just power him up and chem him up he will get the 90 short 90 medium and then you could put go deep on him which would give him 99 deep route running which i don't know how much different that is but 99 typically has a difference but he's going to be everything threshold you have a little bit of juke a little bit of ball carrier vision but the key thing here is going to be a 95 speed receiver that's 604 210 that can run every route in the playbook so that's kind of the important part now randy moss would be overpowered which funny though is out of the four players i named i think that the most influential one would probably be eric dickerson if we get a 94 speed six foot three eric dickerson beast that's probably going to be the craziest thing that gets added to the game but randy moss again the only thing with randy moss is that we've they've been giving us crazy receivers like ridley and dion uh and tyreek all these 95 speed receivers so randy won't have the speed differential but the difference is like he gets the speed and the physicality because that's what dion and calvin really don't have they're more like throw them open uh slants route running like randy moss kind of guy like you can throw contested you can throw route like you can just run everything so you have to just worry about anything he does with guys like Calvin, you're like, okay, you know, playing them deep, you swap the ball, but Randy Moss can really pretty much out jump you. But that pretty much wraps up the video. You know, Randy Moss, Steve Young, Willie Brown, Eric Dickerson, and then of course Mahomes for the present. We'll probably be seeing the we'll be seeing the present tomorrow, so you'll know you'll know if that one's correct after tomorrow. And then we'll be seeing this, I think, probably Friday or Saturday, which would make sense for what Kralo said. But that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you're new, subscribe, comment down below. Uh if you guys need coins, head over to Mount Reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Take advantage. That's about it. I'm out.